but uh, still good fun. I uh, 15 last time, and I don't know how many are here tonight, so it's great to see it just grow and grow. It's been a lot of interest. I think we had our uh, 100th member yesterday as well, so I sent him a little note um, telling me he hadn't won a prize. <laughs> um, so today we've, we're running way behind the already amended schedule, so we're just going to kind of get right into it. And I'm going to introduce Chris from Headshift, who Very is nice. kindly hosting us. He's going to tell us a bit about the company. I'm going to keep this mercifully brief, guys, so uh, you don't need to kind of sit through it for too long. Um, hi, we, a few of us are actually from Headshift here. Um, you're currently in Headshift's, office, Headshift's offices. We basically work uh, with WordPress and Drupal and Rails and lots of other uh, open and closed source technologies. And uh, one of the reasons we're actually hosting this is actually because we end up using this a lot and it's a very good way to actually meet people and actually learn a bit more about the platforms that we do actually end up using. Um, if there's, there's a few things to actually say. Uh, we're hiring, so uh, if you guys are, if there are any developers who actually, or contractors who are available, or interested in actually working with us, or interested in what we do, uh, then please, please do speak to either myself, or Emily, or anyone else, or Davide over here. Um, that's largely it. Thank you for sitting through this. Uh, I'm just going to set, set aside to let um, Emily Weber actually we talk about. Uh, introduce an introduction to WordPress. Do the, do the icebreakers yeah. first. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, yes. It's all right, it's all right. Do <laughs> Okay, so, do you want to do Yeah, I'll go for it. All right. Okay, I'll start on the so. okay. way. This is me. Um, I'm Keith. I've been <coughs> working with WordPress for about two years, so I'm fairly new to it. Um, I started freelancing at about the same time and basically jumped straight into the freelance world and I've been uh, loving it ever since really. Um, it's my homepage top left and really need to update it. It's been uh, like that for ages uh, but that's me so that's at keithdevon.com and I just have a little example site here uh, of a project I'm working on at the minute called Pod Academy and that is just a podcast website that is uh, basically academic podcasts, so that's my that's my latest project. We're going to keep these really, really brief. I'm just going to flick through the slides, and if your name comes up, if you just stand up and say something about yourself. We've got Mark Allen. I have to be first thing. Yeah. <laughs> Evening, everyone. Um, if you say you're new to WordPress, I'm only about four months in, so it's still honeymoon period. Um, very basic, only a user, not a developer, not a designer, as you can tell. Um, got roped into a project for a charity, um, which is using affiliate marketing, help them generate income for them, and just here to sort of find out um, what WordPress can do. I'm probably only using five, maybe ten percent of it, so that's uh, the reason why I'm here tonight. Cheers, Mark. How's that? Are you? Um, I actually work in the print industry. That's why I ended up doing the print website, um, and then that's my own website. So at the moment. It I'm on the design side and finding my way around WordPress. Thanks very much. Thank you. So, Joe. Well, that's me. Um, I'm working as a web developer and I have been working for a year and a half with WordPress. And that's one of the websites that I have been working on. <coughs> that's me. I'm Dave. Uh, I I just do it as a hobby, I've got a full time job. But uh, that digital orient drop site is uh, sort of quite a few resources there, there's tutorials and that sort of stuff. So basically the way that I learned PHP and WordPress was to actually write tutorials, get into it, and that's the way that I sort of work. I can't read a book. No, I can read, but I can't. <laughs> but I can't actually sit with a book and like do the examples, I have to actually rip into the code. And so you know, that's me. You know. Oh, that's me. Um, <coughs> on my Google homepage. Um, I won't uh, say too much. Just I'm going to talk in a minute anyway. But I'm a senior project manager here at Headship. Um, so I'm not a developer. I am a WordPress user. Hi, that's me. I'm a developer. Um, been working with WordPress for a couple of years. Uh, I use it for when I'm doing CMS systems, but otherwise I'm a Ruby and Rails developer. Uh, this is the latest project I've done for uh, uh, a youth project in uh, Swiss College. Uh, that's me. Uh, I'm Steve, I'm a developer. 
I've uh, been working with WordPress for about uh, six years. And I'm freelance, but most of my work is with a, an agency called Public Life, who specialise in uh, charities and non-profits. And this site locality is pretty typical of uh, the stuff they're doing at the moment. Hi, I'm Michael Atkins. Um, I run a little agency, so it's just me with Q Colour. Um, just do mostly um, small business, there's um, GP centres and things like that. I've um, been using WordPress for about three and a half years or so. Um, been to all the WordCamps, really love WordPress. Cool. Oh, sweet. Um, I do, uh, I guess, sort of more front end web, WordPress stuff, like theme things, and um, uh, just love it. I've been doing it for about four years. Interesting. Yeah, it's kind of hard not to talk to me. Uh, I'm just a graduate of web engineer, which is a fancy word for web developer at marketing called Putnam. You can do this fine for yourself. So, that's it. Yeah, this is me. Um, <coughs> I'm uh, David Kazani, and I work primarily as a designer. But uh, I <coughs> was in WordPress since probably around one or two or something around that. And in the years, I build uh, quite a lot of templates, plugins. I usually build everything from, from scratch, from the design up to the final uh, website. And yes, that's one. And actually, I also mm -hmm. use a lot of WordPress as a proper CMS framework, not just for blogs. And this was a good example to 670. This was a no profit, no profit project. And basically, you can guess it's WordPress unless you check out the code. <coughs> ah, it's me, isn't it? Yeah. Um, God, four years ago, I started using WordPress just to blog. Um, got bored of it because it got pretty um, time consuming. About two years ago, uh, about three and a half years ago, I set up this company. About two years ago, I uh, started to get back into WordPress and realised I could just rip the whole guts of it out and rebuild it as a CMS. Uh, <coughs> this one here, this is for a video, these are recent projects. This one's for a video production company based down in Regent Street. Um, technically challenging because we they needed uh, videos to work on iPads, stuff like that. This one down here um, is a very complicated site with lots of sub pages and lots of. Uh, featured images pulled in from different angles and all the rest of it. So what I like to do is get them ripped them apart. Um, we also done some more basic stuff as well. We're also working on quite a few other projects. So and we're looking for uh, freelancers. So if you're a freelance developer, come and speak to me as well. Come we're looking to stick people on the books. Cheers. Don't think Nate is here. Yeah, he's <coughs> me. Um, my name's Phil Price. Um, I work for a company called Covenant Solutions. Um, this is my uh, first website in WordPress. I use a photo blog. Um, I think I've been using WordPress for like three years. I've developed a couple of plugins which um, aren't really uh, good enough to be uh, let loose from my own website, but I'll eventually get around to um, giving them back to the community. New to, to WordPress, so just begin on. Hopefully, I'll learn a bit more. That's it. Thanks, Alex. Well, that's me. Uh, my name is Alberta. Uh, I've been using WordPress for about two years for my personal blog, but I've never done anything serious. Only modified SDM I2 so, uh, to use it for my needs. I uh, updated my personal website. It's not on WordPress because it's too simple to actually need to use WordPress. It's just HTML5, DSF3 and stuff. The one on the bottom is uh, my WordPress blog. Quite simple. I just chose the theme, mo uh, modified it a bit, and that's it. Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hi, Jess. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, that's, my, uh, that's me. Um, I'm a developer at Headshift. I tend to work with uh, WordPress, and for my sins, I also work with Drupal sometimes as well. Uh, I basically spoke to Keith a few weeks ago and said, hey, well, pretty good you're doing this. Uh, is there any chance we could um, do something with you and actually uh, find out who else in London is actually using it? Because amazingly, even though it's something that lots of people use, there's no real kind of meetups of this yet. So that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm going to be talking about 
how to kind of get into WordPress as a developer if you're fairly new to it uh, later on today. But um, in the meantime, that's pretty much me for now, guys. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> oh, there you go. Hi, my name's Flo. I was um, teach had, had been teaching myself PHP, MySQL, HTML on and off for a few years, and I was using Drupal for, for a while, and I got, you know, I thought it was a bit complex, but I found that <laughs> WordPress is much easier. And within a few weeks, I finished, well, done that, but I still need to do some designs and stuff. It's just a simple website, but it's I'm going to add some designs later. I haven't finished it. I'm just you know, experimenting and things like that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks Thank so you. much. <laughs> uh, that's me. Um, I'm a developer. I principally use Drupal, but um, this is the first project I've done in uh, WordPress because I suspect a lot of people are uh, like short of cash. They need uh, uh, simpler solutions, and they also um, I think it's probably more suited suited to small uh, businesses too. So this is a um, a not-for-profit site I'm just working on. It basically uses a subscription system uh, out of PayPal, and uh, basically the members are able to book events, like workshops. Basically, it's about uh, teaching new users to English um, to be familiar with the language through the use of workshops like drama and so on. So that's what this site is all about. That's it. Does anyone else uh, that didn't send a slide in like to say anything? Please feel free. Yeah. Um, yes, I haven't got um, a WordPress uh, website. I need one. Um, my name is Nicholas Strong. Um, I'm interested in uh, social business design. I'm um, a consultant in virtual working. I look at how we are going to be human on the internet in the future. So I'm particularly interested in the role of websites tonight. I'd really like to see where they're going as opposed to where they've been. Anyone else? Yeah. Good evening. I'm, I'm Rex Wickham. Um, I'm a web hosting company. But, um, it's mostly open source. It's a quite like WordPress. I also build a few sites in my spare time, which are mostly not open source. Thanks very much. Hi. <laughs> okay, I'm Jessica Onback. I'm a designer. Uh, I have um, um, web design as well, but I'm new to WordPress. So I've got a few tips, hopefully. Anybody else? We've got through everyone. I think that's it. So, without any further ado, Emily, do you want to plug in? Sure. And, uh,